In this tutorial, we'll be looking at creating a simple solid animation inside After Effects. We'll start by creating a new composition, giving it a name, solid animation, selecting a HD preset and a duration of 10 seconds with a black background color. So we've got our composition. So now we can start creating our layer. So layer, new, solid. And we'll call this blue square. We'll keep the dimensions 200 by 200 pixels and select the color blue, just like that. Let's have a look at layer properties and how we create animations. We need to activate animation for the property or properties that we're going to animate. So in this case, we'll just do a very simple position animation. So we'll activate keyframing, add the keyframe where the playhead is at the start. And now I can position my solid layer, the start of the frame. And over time, I will just reposition it so it moves left to right over a second. And pressing the play or the space bar will just play that animation. So very simple, left to right, and that's it. So a minimum of two keyframes, but of course you can have as many keyframes as possible. So once you're in keyframing mode, repositioning the playhead that's not on a keyframe, any adjustment you do will create a new keyframe. And if the playhead is parked on a keyframe, any adjustment you do is going to edit that keyframe. And that's really just how After Effects works. So once you're in keyframing mode, doing an adjustment creates the additional keyframe because you've edited the values somewhere else in time that's not already on a keyframe. As it's a position keyframe, we get this sort of motion path, which is this sort of red path that you can see in the composition viewer. If you want to edit this and add curvature to those paths, then we need to go into our pen tool. And inside the pen tool, there are additional tools here and we want the convert vertex tool. So clicking on a keyframe adds these Bezier handles, which enable us to start adding curvature to that particular keyframe or keyframes. If we want to animate scale as well, we'll activate scale, keyframe, a starting value of 200, and maybe go to the very last keyframe and change that value to 50. So, We've got now two properties animating over time. If we wanted to make an irregular shape, as a solid layer is bitmapped, it's always going to be rectangular in nature. But we can use our masking tools up here to create different types of shapes. So I'll illustrate this by creating a new solid layer, layer, new solid, call this green circle. Keep it 200, 200, but we'll select a green color. And here's our circle, which is a square. But if I use the ellipse tool and click, I'm now creating what we call a mask. Holding down the shift key will constrain the ellipse tool to a circle. So we have now a circle. And if we look at our layer down here, there are transform properties which every layer has. And now that we've created a mask, we've got the mask properties down here with mask one, which is this mask here. If I want to create an additional mask, I'll just create a circle inside the circle. If I double click it, I can edit the mask in its entirety so I can reposition and hit return. Clicking on the point, well, edit a point on the mask. And masks are Bezier in nature, so we can edit that as we please. 
and just going to undo that. Inside our layer properties here, we've got mask two, which is the inner one, and mask one, which is the outer one. So mask two to the right, I've got these options here. So if I subtract mask two from mask one, then we get a subtraction, which ultimately is a punch out. So now we have our green circle. Let's just create some animation there. So I'll just hit P, Shift S just to show position and scale. We'll activate both properties. Over time, we'll move it to the left and we'll edit that scale. So now we have two layers animating. And the thing I want to show you here is the stacking order. Green circle sits above the blue square, so it's foremost in the viewer. We can obviously change that by dragging it below. So now it's behind. And there we have simple animations using solid layers.